Hi guys, just Mike here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are keeping well. So guys, I've got something slightly different for you today here on my channel. It's going to be a tutorial of how to download a logo pack onto Football Manager Mobile 2016. So I know you guys have been asking me for some time how I get extra logos and, and players faces. And I do keep trying to, you know, direct it towards this community. But I just thought I'd show you how to actually do it as it is. It's fairly simple. Now this video does unfortunately only cover the Android uh, version but there is the option on the channel to um, look at the iOS version so if you want to vibe they will actually have instructions on the download section of how to do this. Um, so obviously I said it's going to be just the Android one. And if you aren't already signed up to Vibe, guys, um, please, it's in the top of all of my descriptions on all of my Football Manager mobile content. Um, the link is always there. It's just recently been rebranded to Vibe Community. Please just go and show your support for them because it's an amazing community where they've got logos and uh, players' packs and careers and yeah, just loads of downloads and just really good content. It's how team guys, there's, there's loads of loads of loads of stuff uh, for you to check out. So as I said, um, there is an availability to to show you how to download it onto the iOS. However, this video does just cover, unfortunately, the Android version. So first of all, guys, what you want to do is you want to go head over to the Vibe community. As I say the link will be in the description down below, and you will need to click onto the download section. So obviously, you will be greeted by this screen here, which will show you some content, such as the pre-game editor, as well as looking some, uh, you know, some content that other people have been made for the channel as well. Um, so as you can see there, you know, they've got the um, five uh, tips for developing wonder kids you know you've got tactics on there they've got key um, attributes for each role so they've got some really really strong content on there will help you basically become a master of the game then click on downloads and obviously choose your logo pack or your face pack which you want to do download the i'm going to go for the shiny pack because it's one i've already got then click on the download this file section now obviously i've already paid um to kind of obviously download stuff from Vibe, but you can actually download it free from a torrent. Um, I'm going to download the 1080p pack. The way you can actually find this out is by going actually onto a game and clicking on your game status. This is the one uh, screen that actually shows you um, like how long you've been playing the game. It also shows you what device you'll be using. It'll say either WVGA, SD, HD, or 1080. So obviously I'm using the 1080p version, so that's the one I'll be downloading. However, I've already got it downloaded, so I will just be heading over there um, very shortly to show you how to actually import it from your file database into your um, game. You will need to possibly download a file manager. You do normally have one preset on your device, but sometimes this doesn't actually, well, isn't suitable for what you need it to. So obviously there is 7-zip, which is kind of stated there. Uh, however, there is many more. If you just go to the Google Play Store and type in file management, you'll, you'll come up with loads of different ways to do it. So I'm just gonna head over to my file management screen now, guys, and I'll join you very, very shortly. Okay, guys, we are back. So this is the screen you'll be greeted with in your file management or look very similar, kind of, um, they always look slightly different. So you'll need to click on the 1080p showing logo pack or whichever one you've downloaded. Obviously, you'll kind of basically need to be unzipped. So normally this does this by, well, my file manager does this just by simply clicking on it and uh, then it basically unzips the content. You'll then need to obviously click onto the folders and you'll see obviously a few different so content competitions clubs and uh, alternative you'll we'll see to highlight these and then copy these or move them into the new folder so this new folder has actually kind of been almost hidden by si this year which is just slightly annoying normally it was just on, on the main screen here but for some reason they've actually changed it this year so it's actually been put into a separate um, folder with it inside the android priest uh, set folders that are on all basically Android devices where it stores most of the information. So you will need to just find your um, folder called Android and I'm struggling to find mine. There it is. Uh, click on data and then that will bring up a list of then you then have to find your Football Manager mobile 2016 folder which I believe is called Football Manager handheld because I'm presuming that has when it went to coding that's what it was called. Yep so there you'll see uh, SI Games FMH16, click on files and then you will need to go into the data section of this one. Then once in the data section you'll then find, uh, you'll go into logos and um, yep, so mine obviously shows you that it's 1080p. Uh, you click onto that one and you basically just paste them into there. Obviously it will come up with that you will have to override um, a lot of data because you'll have a lot of the logos already on the game and it's basically overriding the photos on there so just tick the um option to override all else you'll be sitting there for hours just clicking each individual one and yeah that's basically it guys really it's fairly simple and straightforward um the kind of directions actually on the website are fairly self-explanatory as well it does give you a good rundown and but i just thought i'd make a video for you guys to make it slightly easier for you but it is fairly straightforward as i said and if you have any problems just please just drop it in the comment section down below and i'll try to help you as best as i can but you basically just need to follow the steps and that, as soon as you download it you then go into android data um si games 
uh, FMH 2016, files FMH 2016 again, data, then your logo is packed, it might not be called 1080p because obviously it might be called um, SD or HD, and then just paste them into there and override all of the existing ones and then once you then preload your not preload once you then reload your football manager mobile game you'll be greeted with a lovely array of new logos or face packs whatever you've done guys if you have found this tutorial video helpful in any way please show your support by smashing that like button if you haven't done so already as well please go and head over to fmh vibe sorry vibe community and subscribe and subscribe to my channel as well and as always guys i will speak to you legends soon